Uh, ben Dietrich with us from The Ringer. He wrote the story everybody was talking about in sports yesterday. Thank you for making the time for us. I have a lot of questions. Can you take us through how long ago this story began and where it began for the uninitiated? Uh, yeah, hey, guys. Um, I, it started, I, I said February 1st. Now, I think that's accurate is when we made like some inroads. He had hit me up on Twitter and Instagram, and then by the time we actually started discussing things, I would say it was like February 1st. And he sent me an email, and he outlined that there were these accounts that pointed in a direction, and he gave me some of the, the findings from his own research. And the way he described it was he had seen a tweet that seemed to reveal insider information about Julia Okafor, and that made him curious, and he found other accounts that were saying similar things. So he started running data sets, which I don't understand that much, That's, you know, but he started running data sets and found accounts that had similar followings and discussed similar items. You know, a lot of people have hit me up. Is this someone who was like, you know, a, a data guy who had a, a gripe with the Sixers and so forth? I, I don't have any evidence that says, yes, that's the case. How did you vet the source? For me, it was more about what he gave me than, than who gave me it. Because it was really like, here are these accounts. And if I was convinced that they were not him and it was not a elaborate ruse being being played upon me, and I was, of course, really skeptical. I, you know, I didn't want to look like an idiot. So I went through what he gave me more than being, okay, who is this person? Because ultimately, whether he had a axe to grind or not, it was more about what I was going to do with the information. Is there anything in the story, because these things are really uncomfortable, All doing this and then having uh, the person in the middle of it deny it this strongly, is there anything in the story that you wish you had back, or are you good with 100% of the reporting? 100%. Okay. Um, that's a good answer. because uh, So you weren't shaken in any way by how strongly he was denying everything yesterday? Well, you know, to your point, you you would like things to be more neat. You'd like things to, to, to fall into a bow in a way that, that is very easy. I didn't think that was going to be the case with the story. I thought the response would be what it was. I think we were very careful and looked things over and worded things. And it was about Venn diagrams that, that all went in a certain direction. And we didn't make any specific accusations. You know, that was... That was the story. We presented evidence, and people could draw their own conclusions. Is it possible, like when the idea is thrown around of it was a family member, it was someone else, it's not him, like what can you talk about there? I understand there's a difference between a reporter and an opinion giver. What can you tell us there about if it might be, like what might be his immunity here? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. It's tough for me to answer that, but I think there were a lot of theories and a lot of compelling, I don't want to use the word evidence, but compelling items that were brought up on, late last night on Twitter that also point to that direction, maybe in a slightly different way. I'm sorry, I just have to be careful here. No, I understand. I'm just curious because we can't go back and fix this. And you laid out the circumstantial evidence, like, so people understand. These things are vetted by lawyers, and as he just told you, he's been working on this for months, okay? This is not sloppy journalism. This is uh, him putting together a string of dots on the Internet. But we consumed it as if it was fact yesterday when it was cir circumstantial evidence, and you were careful with your hedging of words. Um, but is it possible that it's his wife? <laughs> I think the Venn diagrams that include one person really include another. <laughs> I, I would say that there are a lot of commonalities between different people. I, I think that's the best way that I can phrase it. You know, if you look at Toronto and you look at, um, excuse me, Toronto Youth Basketball, and you look at University of Chicago Basketball, and you look at the Sixers, and you look at the grievances that were expressed throughout, there's more than one person that could be. What do you say to people who say to you, Ben, that you have been a supporter of Sam Hankey and a guy that has been on Brian Colangelo basically the entire season for some of his moves? I would say that's the reason that the source came to me, you know? So I felt that there was an opportunity for someone 
who was trying to make me look bad. So I, I approached it with a lot of skepticism. I think, you know, you're on Twitter and, you're, and I'm saying, you know, I'm critiquing moves. That's different from what I'm putting my name on as a journalist and what I'm giving to the ringer or what I'm giving to the New York Times or whoever sees fit to actually pay me for this. Uh, he did a very good job here. This ringer story is comprehensive. Ben Dietrich with us on ESPN Radio. Um, as you survey everything that happened here and everything that you reported, what would you say is the most convincing evidence that this was him doing it? Well, I'm I'm not saying it was him. Because, you know, as I said, there's been evidence that came out in the last couple of days, that, or excuse me, last night, that do not necessarily say it was him. I believe that the Venn diagrams that say who this, is coming from are are intact and we were correct um in terms of the most compelling evidence was when i contacted the team i spoke with their pr representative and then he spoke with one person and after that conversation three of the accounts that i had not mentioned went dark i didn't tell anybody the, the source didn't know i was contacting the team at that point they went down. They you did went, that strate- you, 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 you did that strategically, correct? Yeah. The idea was to try to make stronger IRL evidence, for lack of a better phrase. We had a lot of Twitter forensics. We had a lot of circumstantial stuff, and there was a way to narrow the focus with in, with information that was not on the internet. If that makes sense. Ben, I know you're sticking to your story, and you should. Um, but if it's not him, then what? I'm, I'm not saying it's him. Um, yeah, that's the thing. We we jumped to that conclusion. The media was real eager to jump to that conclusion. 